we have come here today to honor a man of God. The library in back of us tells about the journey of faith that my father traveled his entire life. My father preached on heaven, told millions how to find heaven. He wrote a book on heaven. And today, he's in heaven. He has often said that someday you'll read that Billy Graham is dead. He said, don't you believe one word of it. He said, I'll be more alive than I am now. I would have just changed addresses, that's all. And my daddy taught me by his example to think about what I was reading. So about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, when my mother went to heaven, my daddy started asking me to read him the Bible. And at first it was very intimidating, and then it became such a joy. I have learned this week, as never before, that everybody has a Billy Graham story. And even this week, President Trump told us about his Billy Graham story. As a little boy, his father took him to Yankee Stadium to hear my father preach. And he said, this is a big deal. <laughs> little did they know that their paths would cross many, many years later. Like a rose trampled on the ground, you took the fall. When we talk about Dr. Graham in the Middle East, we don't say he is only a great evangelist, but we say he is a great teacher. And Dr. Graham has used the best method of teaching. He has, he has taught by example. The crowd attracted were unprecedented in our history, but more than mere size and scope of the meetings, I am convinced radiated an intensity that amounted to an outpouring of the Holy Spirit which will change the lives of each and every participant. Oh, he holds the future. Lord, at this time we pray very specially for Franklin and for Will as they continue to uphold the legacy that your servant Billy Graham had to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations of the world.